I'm Mike Laramie, Associate CTO of Security in the Office of the CTO here at Zada. And I've made a career out of helping people secure and protect their workloads, both in cloud and on premises. During my career, I've worked across many facets of IT, from call centers to desktop support, to designing data centers, to designing multi-cloud architectures. And throughout all of that time, and now here at Zada especially, security has always had a special place in my heart. A core tenet I've always tried to keep in mind is secure by default. By adopting security concepts as early as possible into your operations, you not only reduce the amount of effort required to achieve your security goals, but you greatly reduce your operational risk as well. It takes up to 30 times the amount of effort to repair an issue in production versus catching it in the design phase. As companies are moving to the cloud, sometimes teams can struggle with pivoting towards cloud security tooling and concepts. Security in the cloud brings a different set of challenges versus on-premises security. But if you take a look, you'll find that a majority of the core concepts remain the same. To quote NIST, cybersecurity, regardless of whether you're doing it on-prem or in cloud, consists of five core functions. Identify, you have to know what assets you have, what your policies are, what vulnerabilities exist when you're in your environment. And then protect, you have to enforce the policies, what controls in place, have procedures to protect those assets you've identified. Then detect, you know, monitoring the environment, analyzing changes to understand their impact. Respond, take action when an incident occurs and recover, maintaining your resilience and restoring any capabilities that were impacted during the incident. These remain the same, whether you're securing an on-premises workload or a cloud workload, the tooling and the methods change a little bit, but the core concepts are there. And even cloud native companies who were born in the cloud can use some guidance on cloud security. Frequently startups and small companies are more focused on the development and product side of the house with security coming in as an afterthought as something they can address later. But the fact is you need to implement proper security now more than ever as we see automated attacks on the rise and you know, the complexity of attacks, meaning no target is too small for a malicious actor. Our goal here at SADA is to make cloud security as easy to understand and implement as possible. In this technical empowerment series, we'll focus on cloud security offerings and the latest trends around them, discussing topics like cloud security posture management, zero trust architectures, infrastructure as code and policy as code, how to introduce security earlier in your software development life cycles, and how to implement proper workload protection. So come on and join us on this technical empowerment journey as we explore these topics. And make sure that you like our YouTube channel to get notified of new episodes as they're released, and we'll see you there.